In Minecraft, you can turn a wet sponge into a dry sponge by heating it up, usually with fuel in a furnace, but you can also go into the nether and place your wet sponges and they'll instantly get dried. So these methods are nice, but they can't really be automated. Maybe you could set up some TNT thing to break wet sponges, but I really don't want to put TNT anywhere near my limited valuable sponges. So it might be tempting to want to implement something like this, where putting a wet sponge next to one of these specific blocks instantly dries it out. But like if this lava thing was implemented, if just having lava next to a wet sponge dried it out, then I think when I would dry out a cave, I would just place my sponge, it would get water, and then I'd place water and pick it back up. And then do this. And then do this. And this would make these two methods completely irrelevant. But I think I've come up with a way that sponges could be dried automatically without making these methods irrelevant. And what it is, is that nether essence, that nether essence of making sponges dry. Let's say it leaked out a little bit, just like how on the ruined portals some of the nether rack will leak out a little bit. What if that power to dry out sponges leaked it out just a little bit from the portal? Now, if placing a sponge next to a nether portal dried it out, if you had a whole, if you had like six stacks of wet sponges, you'd probably still just want to use a couple lava buckets and dry it out. Or maybe you'd want to go in the nether just because you can place a whole ton in a row and then go mine them. But if there was a nether portal that you could just dry it on, that would be really useful for redstone contraptions. To automatically dry a whole ton when they're in block form. And then you could build machines like this. Now note this isn't just, if the magma block dried out wet sponges then you could just have this go along and sweep everything. But since it's a nether portal, this big bulky immovable thing, I have to come up with unique flying machines just for this problem. And maybe sweepers would be better, but maybe this is better for like underground, I don't know. But it allows interesting possibilities and it's kind of nice having these go back to the nether portal and just dry out. So I turned this, the reason you're seeing it on the screen right now is because I turned this into a data pack. Uh, it's not the most efficient one because it needs a whole ton of entities to place, keep track of where all the nether portals are. But it does work, works pretty nice. Like it works with pistons and all the redstone and everything. Uh, so you can experiment and see if you like this feature. It's in the description.